praise the Lord, prophet of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Joanne. Now, this is what the Lord says. Well, the Lord has spoken with me in a very, very mighty way about uh, the meeting that's coming up. The historic national repentance meeting that is coming up in Kenya here that will take place in Nairobi, the capital city of this country. And the Lord, he showed me a tremendous meeting, a historic gathering. I don't know until now how many millions of people, but very, very mighty, massive few of people. And then the altar call. And everybody received the Lord Jesus in that meeting and then in that meeting I also see I see the healing of crippled legs there's this particular child I think the boy a boy and the right leg that was facing up the Lord stretches the leg and the Lord will stretch the leg and the leg will step down normally the leg was facing up the boy was stepping down using the ankle but it was deformed leg and crippled and I see crippled legs healed at that meeting the mighty meeting of the national repentance that will take place in Kenya in Nairobi on February 24th the year 2013 and then at the same time I see the massive visitation of the glory of the Lord the Lord is coming to visit in his tremendous and most fearsome and fearful glory. He is bringing his glory. I saw the thick dark glory of the Lord's cloud coming to visit. And from wherever I was standing, it was on my left. The glory stood on my left hand side. Very massive historic visitation is going to take place. And at the same time, the Lord has shown me the political leaders. The Lord has shown me the candidates, the presidential candidates at the meeting. He showed them to me when they were all together in one accord. And they all join hands and decree peace. They receive the Lord Jesus and they decree, decree peace. And then I saw so much, so many people, even myself, I could not pass. It was almost impossible for me to pass also, to, to pass into the, to get into the meeting, to, to, to total full, absolute full, shoulder to shoulder standing space. So this is going to be the most historic revival, the most historic meeting of the Lord is about to take place in the nation that bears the name Kenya, the most historic meeting in the history of the church is about to take place in the nation called Kenya and Jehovah Elohim our eternal creator Jehovah Adonai our sovereign Lord Jehovah Elion the Lord Most High so Jehovah El Olam the everlasting God Jehovah El Shaddai, our all magnificently sufficient God, Jehovah Yireh, the Lord who provides, Jehovah Nisi, our banner, our mighty holy banner, Jehovah. Jehovah Rufe, the healer of all mankind, he created them and he healed them. Jehovah Eloheka, the Lord thy God. Jehovah Hoseinu, the Lord our maker. Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace, the Lord our peace. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Jehovah Rohi, our mighty Savior and Shepherd. Jehovah Sidkenu, the Lord 
our righteousness. Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God of Israel, Jehovah Eloheinu, the Lord our God, Jehovah Shama, our present God and Lord, Jehovah Mikadishken, our sanctifier and purifier. He is coming and coming in the most historic way to visit the biggest meeting, the most historic meeting at Uhuru Park grounds in Nairobi. And there will be tremendous healing on the first day. Massive, massive historic healing. And when he visits, I've seen, I've seen the tremendous glory, the thick dark cloud of the glory of the Lord. That stands, a huge glory that stands on my right hand side. So may the Lord open your eyes that you may see the glory of his presence. Jehovah is coming from his throne room to visit the earth himself this time around again. So this revival will utter the spark. It will spark off the biggest global revival. This national repentance in Kenya is going to be the, the spark and the trigger. It is going to spark off the biggest, the hugest, and the most historic global revival of the harvesting of souls and the healing and restoration of the church back to righteousness. There, there then is going to be now national repentance across the nation, across the nation, after this meeting at Uhuru Park. And so time is over now. The Messiah is coming. The Lord is asking the church to turn away from the gospel of prosperity. He's asking the church in the United States of America to turn away from the decay of prosperity and immorality. He's asking the church in Europe to turn away from evil and sin and immorality and the gospel of prosperity and the postmodernism in the church, even Canada, even in Asia, that they may turn away from idol worship, Buddhism, Hinduism, and all this form of Eastern religions, the idolatrous worship. The Lord is asking Australia and the entire Africa to return back to Him. Even the islands and the oceans and the trees and the mountains and the rocks, the rivers and the lakes. The Lord is asking all creation now to return to righteousness, to return to Him, to return to the house of the Lord, to return to the worship of the Lord. Time is over. I have seen the Messiah coming. The Lord is now igniting a global revival of an equal level, an equal magnitude. The revival of the Holy Spirit, the revival of righteousness, the revival of holiness, the revival of the Holy Ghost, the revival of repentance, the revival of turning away from sexual sin, from the gospel of prosperity, turning away from false prophets in America, false prophets in Europe, in Africa and Canada and Australia and Asia, false apostles. The Lord is restoring the power of the gospel of the blood and the cross, the gospel that redeems the church. Because time is over, the Lord is going to visit the nations now. Shalom.